Hello everyone. Yeah, I was really tempted, like, for the thumbnail of this one to be the How do you do, fellow kids? meme. But I think, to be honest, well, there's a couple of reasons why I wouldn't. One, it's an easy joke. And two, a lot of the thing that's kind of going on with the whole um, copper thing at the minute. Um, yeah, I don't want it to look like I'm taking the mick out of, like, a very real situation. So, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to do that. I was tempted to, but I didn't. All right. Yeah, so with this video, I don't particularly want to get into the ins and outs of the legalities of marking something for kids or not for kids and the whole history of it, because to be honest, I think Council of Geeks did it a lot better and I will link to that video because I think he kind of goes through the information a lot better than I can. So there you go. Oh, sorry, excuse me, still got a bit of a cold. Um, but it does kind of open something for me and I think I wanted to kind of focus more on a kind of wider cultural implication here because I think there are certain aspects to this that I think need to be looked at and it raises a question that I've sometimes asked this in myself as much as anything which is, is Reynard City for kids? Now, here's the thing. I don't think there is anything that is massively adult in Reynard City. I think there are some mature themes. I think there are some there are some imagery that I think some parents would object to and that's fine like I said I'm not here to, I'm not here to judge I mean to give you an idea I was at the Christmas fair and I got two very different reactions so there was one parent kind of saw her kids were looking at the comic almost instantly was like no that is not for children you know stop looking at that you know we're moving on now and again that's fine I, I'm not going to judge that on the other hand other, other parent comes along and says like yeah I'm, yeah, I'm going to the cinema we're, we're, we're watching a cartoon and I think you know just because I'm a parent I don't stop liking these things and this looks good and I want to share it with, with my kids and the thing is both of those approaches are valid that's the thing if you're a parent that's cool my feeling with this I want to share this with in effect as many people as possible with kids I think it's a bit different in the I would sort of struggle to sort of say whether or not you would look at this. And I, I did do a video before about this as a sort of note for parents. But I've got to say, my recommendation is that you read this first and you decide. Because I wouldn't want to kind of put my values on it when it, you know, I'm not a parent. So I can't say that for sure. Cause, and even then, even if I was a parent, my values aren't always going to necessarily be the same as yours. There isn't a right or wrong to it. But this is where, of course, as I say, these recent rules coming in. <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. This is where it gets complicated. Because, for example, suggesting that, say, animation is pretty for kids. And, of course, if you know anything about animation, you know things like Waltz of Bashir, Akira, Persepolis, Animal Farm. There's any number of things out there. Felix the Cat. So I could just reel off a load of names, but you get the point that are definitely not for kids. I mean, likewise, like I say, if you're someone who does collectibles, and of course I know a few channels that focus on that, and not just because they're toys, it doesn't necessarily mean it's a child-focused thing. It's very much for adults. And that's the thing. And I think, in our case, I think my kind of aim, I was thinking it was more kind of young adult to adult, and... If kids enjoy it, great. But I would put it very much on the sort of 12A level where, I, you know, if you're a parent, I would look at it first and then kind of think about it for yourself because there, there are some themes in there that I think could be, I don't want to say a difficult conversation because that sounds a bit patronising, but on the other hand, like I say, some people don't want to have that conversation, others would. And again... I know it sounds like I'm, you know, hurting my butt from sitting on the fence so much here, but this is kind of my point, and I think this is the problem with these rules, is that I can see what they're trying to do, I can see the intent, I can see, the, you know, the other reason that they got caught out, but um, I get it, you know, you want to protect kids, and I, and I do think sometimes people can be cynical about these things, but it's like, you know, 
I do think, you know, there is that attempt to sort of change things around. And, and OK, you could argue, because, you know, it's mainly because they got caught out. But that's true of a lot of things, let's be honest. And OK, that doesn't that also doesn't make it right. That's, that's the other thing I should say, you know, you know, and and it is also very sad that it feels like creators are getting penalised for something that is for, on a wider structural level. And I do think that is very disappointing. And this is why I hope when people look at this, because I know the rules that they're talking about, they don't go in, into force until, I think I think it is very early January that they go in, into effect in, in 2020. So we're still yet to see the actual effect of what these things are. And again, that is not to dismiss people's concerns because people's concerns are very valid. Um, but this is why I hope with this kind of situation, you know, common sense will prevail. Now, and like I say, you will have your opinion on whether or not you thought this is it. I mean, I, I also want to kind of open this up a bit as well because I think people forget, like, for example, with the early uh, Looney Tunes cartoons, for example, there was a lot of kind of adult content in them because back in that time when you were showing things in the cinema, everyone was in the cinema. You were watching the news, you were watching the film, you were watching the cartoons in between those things. It was just all part of the experience. And I think there was more of an acceptance that this was all part of the package. Whereas I think now <coughs> there is more of a feeling of this goes here, this goes there. Although, like I say, that's being opened up more and more. I mean, obviously, you've got things like The Simpsons. You can't really say The Simpsons because its animation is for kids. That's just that's obviously not true. Now, kids can enjoy it because it's, it's got bright colours and slapstick and plenty of silliness. But <coughs> past the first season, a lot of the kind of more childish elements kind of got played down and down. And, you know, the slice of version, the satire, the characters, the kind of the issues that you deal with, you know, yeah, you can argue that they are still very cartoony, but it's something that's not designed specifically for kids. So, so yeah, so again, this is, this is a pretty much, you know, it's, it's not a particularly complicated <coughs> thing to say that, you know, Adults can collect toys, adults can enjoy animation, and there is plenty of adult animation that is definitely not for kids. There is, you know, like I say, if someone wants to review things, I mean, in the case of this specific channel, because I think it'll be useful to kind of have this on record, like, for example, the other day I reviewed The Shining, and I think we can all safely agree The Shining isn't suitable for children. I think... I think there's not a lot of like universal things in the world, but I, I'm going to go out on a limb on that one. You know, that's, I, I, I think, I think I'm safe on that one, but, um, you know, so, so, you know, I will want to review adult stuff. I mean, don't get me wrong. I don't intend to swear. I don't intend to put anything like really adult on here, but that is something I think going forward. I don't, particularly i mean because like i say in, in in this instance we're not particularly big as a channel we're not kind of making money from this but that's not the point i think it's important to engage with these things and be aware of them will it necessarily i think hit as like <coughs> i think something's to say like it will do, do 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 there's a lot of could at the minute i think that's i think that's the crucial thing to remember I think until these things are implemented, it's a lot of could, it's a lot of, oh, I'm scared because X, Y, Z could happen. It hasn't happened yet. I think that's the thing. I think people, don't get me wrong. I think, like I said, I think the concerns are valid. I think putting your voice out there, saying what you think, all of that is important. Like, I'm not doing anyone down for a second on that. Oh, gosh. Um, so I'm going to try and sign off here because yeah, that is very distracting. But, um... What I will say is, as I say, look up these videos, <coughs> engage with it. Like I said, I mean, I don't know what could a petition will do, but like I say, if you see the advice on these videos, go with people who are a bit more learned on this than I am. If you run a channel, if you can seek legal advice, this is something that's a little bit outside of my wheelhouse. But I am just kind of just putting the stamp on this. 
so that people are aware of what this is and in effect to just kind of be on the safe side will it make a job difference it might not but i'm not you know i'm not going to start sort of swearing or sort of putting you know adult films on here in order to prove a point but you know what i mean also before before i forget i'm sort of just going to make sure i put my hand over this because <coughs> <coughs> This has got someone's address on it. So just as a reminder, we have got the Fox Boxes. So um, these include the comic. Um, like I say, some additional goodies, including some chocolate by Sapphire, amongst other things. We did a reboxing video where we donated one of these to the Samaritans. And I will link to that as well, so you can see the contents that are in there. Basically, I'm trying to think, I think the 20th of December, I think is the last date where you can kind of get it out to post international i think it could even be before that depending on where you are but so if you want one of these please let me know as soon as possible because i would love to get these out to you we've only got we've only got a few of these so a couple of these are going out to some regular patreon backers and like i will, I will put information below uh, okay so i've got to sign off now because i think i'm gonna go for another coughing fit um yeah if you do comment below on this you know keep it respectful you know much love